Good day, classmates. Good day, sir. I am Rachel Arovera, teacher one from Santos E. Conag National High School, Esperanza Masbati. Today, I am going to present my lesson plan in Mathematics 4. which is about perimeter of rectangle. And the first part is the objectives. So at the end of the lesson, the pupils are expected to, number one, find the perimeter of rectangle, two, derive a formula for the perimeter of rectangle, and then three, solve the perimeter of rectangle. And the second part is the subject matter. Under these are the topic, references, and the materials. And now the third part is the procedure. Under this part are the preparation and the lesson proper. So for the preparation, we have first the preliminary activities, which are the prayer, greetings, and the checking of attendance. Second is the review. For the review, the teacher will ask questions to the pupils and will have a group activity or a game that will determine if the learners really understood the lesson during the past meeting which was about finding the perimeter of square and rhombus. And third is the motivation. The teacher will just going to present a video clip on how to make a rectangular box. And after that, the teacher will just going to ask the given guide questions. The teacher will then show a bigger, a bigger rectangular box than the one shown in the video. After that, the teacher will ask the student if what do they think is the lesson for the day. After a student answered correctly, the teacher will then present the lesson which is about the perimeter of rectangle. And so that is the first part of the lesson proper. Second part is the groupings of the students. Which is they are just going to divide themselves into four groups by counting one, two, four. So, of course, all the number one is group one, all number two would be group two, so on.
And now let's come to the discussion. So the teacher will ask questions first. What do we call the distance around a polygon? How do we find the perimeter of a polygon? Is rectangle a polygon? If rectangle is a polygon, how do we get the perimeter of rectangle? And then the expected answer of the students are perimeter is the distance around a polygon. So to find the perimeter of a polygon, just add the measures of its sides. Yes, to find the perimeter of a rectangle, just add the measures of its sides or can be written as P equals S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4 because rectangle is a polygon with four sides. And the teacher will explain further. So, a rectangle always has the same length and the same width for both sides. Using the figure below, AB will always be equal to CD and AD will always be equal to BC. In another word, AB is equal to CD and BC is equal to AD. And we have already discussed earlier that to find the perimeter of a rectangle, we just need to add the measures of its sides, wherein it can be written as P equals S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4. So, therefore, to simplify, we just have to substitute the length or L1 and L2 and the width or W1 and W2 to the given side since rectangle has two length and two width. We can also write it as 2L plus 2W which can still be simplified as 2 times L plus W. Therefore, to find the perimeter of a rectangle, we can use the simplified formula, which is P equals 2 times L plus W, that stands for the length and the width. After discussing the concepts on how we derive to the formula of solving or finding the perimeter of a rectangle, we come now to giving an example on how to solve the perimeter of a rectangle. So, we have here the problem. Find the perimeter of rectangle ABCD given that the length is 6 cm and the width is 3 cm. So using the simplified formula of a rectangle, which is P equals 2 times L plus W. So we are just going to substitute the values of the length and the width, which is 6 centimeter and 3 centimeter. So 6 centimeter plus 3 centimeter is equal to 9 centimeter. So 2 times 9 centimeter is equal to 18 centimeter. So therefore, the answer is 18 centimeter. For example, number 2, the problem is Calculate the perimeter of rectangle WXYZ. The given length here is 9 cm and the given width is 7 cm. What are we going to do is just to follow the steps we did in example number 1, which is to substitute the value of the length and width, then add and multiply it by 2, to get the final answer. So we have heard 2 times 9 cm plus 7 cm, then 
2 times 16 centimeters and 7 plus 9 equals 16. And then we have 2 times 16 centimeter equals 32 centimeter. Therefore, the perimeter of rectangle WXYZ is 32 centimeters. Let's come now to the third example. So it is a word problem. A rectangular theater is 200 meters long and 150 meters wide. What is the perimeter of the theater? So given the length of the theater, which is 200 meters, and its width is 150 meters, once again, we are just going to use the formula and substitute the value of the length and the width. So, 200 meters plus 150 meters equals 350 meters. And then 2 times 350 meters equals 700 meters. So, therefore, the perimeter of the theater is 700 meters. And now the fourth part of the lesson proper is the fixing skills. So the teacher will just show some rectangular cutouts with measurements to the pupils. And they will just be given 30 seconds to solve for each items. And the learners will also present their work afterwards. So for the first rectangular cutout, the length is 6 feet. And the width is 4 feet. For the second rectangular cutout, the length is 8 centimeter and the width is 2 centimeter. For the third one, the width is 6 meter and the length is 12 meters. For the generalization, the topic that we have discussed today was about perimeter of rectangle. So find the perimeter of a rectangle, just add the length of its sides, or P is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4. And the simplified formula in finding the perimeter of rectangle is P equals 2 times L plus width. So for the application, the learners will do a group activity and they will going to solve for the perimeter of the real rectangular objects that can be found inside the classroom. They will also report it afterwards. So for group one, they are going to smash for and solve for the perimeter of a book. For group two, Top of the table, group 3, hand towel, and for group 4, a box. Next is evaluation. So it is the fourth part of the lesson planning. So the direction here is to just find the perimeter of the following rectangles. So the last part is the assignment. So the pupils are just going to solve the following worded problems. So for number one, Thelma's backyard is rectangular in shape. It has 9 meter long and 7 meter wide. What is the perimeter of her backyard? For number two, the community park of Velia Quezon is rectangular in shape. It has a length of 3,200 meters and a width of 487 meters. Find its perimeter. That's all. So thank you everyone for watching. God bless.